So I got a message from you. You bring up T Tavares. Now I have. There are some questionable takes on sports radio in this town. There's no question. Mm -hmm. And Never the fact me. that this was even a conversation for me is sort of odd. Um, but I understand why, from an entertainment perspective, you would have it. Okay. Oh. So this is from uh, Crossich on Instagram, and he sent me a message. said, hey, Adam, Brian Hayes and Craig Button on Overdrive are questioning if Tavares was the right choice to be Leafs captain as opposed to Morgan Riley. I'm curious to know what you guys oh. felt about it when it happened and if your opinion has changed since. Riley's not in the If lineup. it wasn't for Babcock, would John, uh, John Tavares be captain? Bingo. You nailed it. Riley's not in the lineup, so he, Riley can't look bad. But I don't know if you remember yes. this. Morgan Riley did not look good, mm. and then he got even more injured. Well, yeah, and he was in bad. He was, hurt. was playing him half an hour a game. Yeah, right. I, I think Keith did it too. But uh, that was that's a bit of a that's a silly question to ask. Like if Tavares being named captain was a Babcock, but thing. you can understand on a radio show why you would ask it because yes. you're going to engage people. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to have an opinion. That's why you bring it up because it's polarizing. Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah, and mm -hmm. I feel this way because of this. Facts tend to kill compelling radio because yes. I would immediately I'd be a terrible co-host for that show because I'd be like Morgan Riley is literally the only player Mike Babcock thanked on his way out. Bingo. <laughs> All right. And they're like literally the only one. But to answer he his question, he thanked the guy who wasn't even there anymore. He thanked Lou and he didn't thank Kyle. To answer the question, which I said we would, because he fired. Because him. I think it's a I fair. It. I think it's a fair question, and I like getting questions like this. How did you feel, all of you, well, both of you, and then me? How did you feel when John Tavares was named captain? Go, Jesse. It was the right decision, especially at the time, because we were thinking it was Matthews or Tavares, and then Matthews came out and said, I did these illegal things, and I didn't tell my GM or coach or anybody. Mm -hmm. I tried to cover it up, and we're like, all right, so it's Tavares. By the way, and then, Chris Johnson was bound and determined that it was going to be Austin Matthews. Yep. He knew something. Yeah. And I think last minute it wasn't. But you're right. Sorry, And Jesse. then Tavares comes out, and we see this video of him being the most stoic man in the world after being named captain. You're like, that's the captain. That's the leader of the team. He's the most He's the most veteran guy there. You know, just bring him in. He's hometown boy. He should be captain. You you, Steven, you need to know what to expect of your captain. Yes. So right. do you think Tavares was the right choice or even, or even Morgan Riley, which apparently was not. I don't think, I think that was even. would have been fine. Either would have been what? How fine. did you feel about okay. Tavares getting it though? I That's the it. question. I you liked, liked it. it, okay? Mm -hmm. I liked it, but it was it was conflicting emotions because I I all summer I was like it's going to be Matthews, it's going to be Matthews, mm -hmm. and then the story the story breaks out of frigging nowhere, and threw everything out of sorts. Mm -hmm. um, I hate to read too much into it, but Morgan Riley had a bit of a funny expression, sort of the opening. Um, when they were announcing everyone for the home opener, mm -hmm. that seemed a little strange. I don't know. I'm probably just reading into that too much. It's not like Morgan's going to be like, hey, and like <laughs> mug for the camera or anything. <laughs> do a dance. TikTok faces. and the, No, he's, he's not going to do that. Um, but, you know, I've been told so many times by, like, former players who have won, you need more than one leader. Mm -hmm. And the Leafs do. But, again, back to the question. You liked it with, T yes. with Tavares got it. Yes, I, I like liked John it Tavares too. Captain. Has your opinion changed, Jesse? None at all. Have you ever looked at John Tavares, Steve, and said he shouldn't have that? Completely no. If Me anything, the season has affirmed my opinion that he should be captain. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing: when people, when teams start to lose, especially in in sports intense market. I mean, like anybody from New York knows what I'm talking about. If the Yankees went on a 10-game losing streak, which they have never really done, <laughs> never 10 games in a row, uh, if the Yankees went on a, had a bad streak, or if the Yankees lose a game, you should hear the things they say about the Yankees on New York Sports Radio. You should see the things that are written. It's and, far worse than it is here. And in a good season, that's still like 60 times. Yes, 100%. <laughs> so this is the thing. Tavares, you, you, would, have to, you would have to do something legitimately wrong to undeserve the captaincy. Mm. And you would have to do, I mean, what did John Tavares do last year that you could point to that says, well, he doesn't deserve it, other than the fact that he hasn't been here that long? He fell three goals shy of 50. Right. <laughs> that's his, bum. That's a huge problem. What a bum. This is the thing. When, when teams start to lose, and they start to lose spectacularly the way the Leafs did on Saturday, weird conversations like this start to happen. Mm -hmm. And it's your job not to react to them. You are one of the hardcore sports fans. You're listening to this show. You're listening to a show that is, by rights, a show for hardcore hockey fans. Yeah. You know, you, you have to seek this show out. 
radio shows are just there. They're on. You turn them on. You turn on your radio. It you, comes with your car. You put, yeah, you put on your <laughs> iHeartRadio app or your Apple CarPlay or whatever, yeah. and it's on. By the way, we are on iHeartRadio for everybody that has it. Damn right. But but it's it's there, and I know this because I'm in radio. When you are on a podcast, you're seeking this out. You are actively listening. You're actively downloading this. And if you don't like it, it's a little bit your fault. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. a little bit your fault. <laughs> you the, came here. The point I'm trying we to make We were just here, talking. The point I'm trying to make here is I'm telling you this because I know you're one of the hardcore people who's passionate enough to go, can you believe, and tweeting it out, and I, and I understand it because I've done it too, can you believe these idiots, these morons, these highly paid professionals on the radio, by the way, could say something like this. Well, yes, I can. Yes. Well, I can believe anybody said anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, leave right. uh, One of the things that annoys me, oh, Leaf fans are saying this. Leaf fans are saying there are millions of Leaf fans. Yeah. You can't paint with one brush. Think of how many people you know. How many of them are stupid? Now, put that on the scale of millions of people. I don't care who you are. You don't know millions of people. You know... 20 you people. Know, 20, you, 30 people. You have... Like, over the course of your life, 750 people who you have known their first name at one point and maybe forgotten. Yeah, because you went to high school. Yeah, because you went to high school. It, oh, within 10 years of that shit, oh, that's for, gone. Yeah. That yeah. is gone. I can't tell you how fast I've lost that. I'm brutal. So, you put that on the scale. Can you believe someone said, Ilya Mikheyev should be the backup goalie? Yes. Do you believe that someone said, what if uh, Marinchin played wing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you believe... Name any stupid thing. Can you believe it? Yes! Mm -hmm. There's so many people! Right. Well, that's, this <laughs> is the so thing. There's so many people! And every time a sports radio show, and you, you see this tweeted all the time, every time a sports radio show tweets something, that, or, or people tweet something about it, like, I can't believe so-and-so said this. Guess what? That's, that show just won. <laughs> Yes. That show just got free exposure from yes. you. So yes. they're doing it right. That's how you do it. Now, that doesn't mean every take is stupid. That doesn't mean no. every take has to be. That mean, doesn't mean every conversation. But I can guarantee you in sports radio shows, there are guys who those guys know these people. They're not stupid people. It's, and I'm sure sometimes the conversations drive them nuts. But they got to have them. And it's okay to have them. And everybody relax. But the John Tavares stuff, to put it to bed... There is nothing wrong with the captaincy situation here. What's wrong is you've got a very immature team, and you've got four guys making a lot of money, three of them under the age of 25. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you something. If you haven't hit 25, 26 yet, uh, just so you know, a reckoning cometh. Things change, and they change rapidly after you hit 25, 26. It's, yeah. you, you don't even see it happening, and all of a sudden you go from, we're partying. Oh, it's a long weekend. That means we can drink Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Oh. To I haven't been out literally in months, and that happens within like a year. I used to punish myself, dude. <laughs> Looking Steve, back, Steve used to do highlights from CBC and drive six of us home. Dangled drunk. Out. That's that's where. No, sorry, you guys were drunk. Yeah, no, not For you. The record. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not you. Well, yeah, obviously. I was working till two thirty, but. Uh, yeah, like, and it's one of those things that I'm going to sound so old saying this. You're living in it. And you don't realize it. You're like, yeah, no, this is fine. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is like. And now I'm. I look back on like four years ago, and I go, what the fuck? 